Hi guys, it's me Faye here at Faye Desk and I'm back with a, another video in the ABC uh, YouTube Pagan Challenge for 2018 and we are now on the letter E. So for E I have chosen to talk about the term eclectic. So again, if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my trusty notebook. And yeah, so let's get back to eclectic. The term eclectic, in a basic sense, means selecting what appears to be the best fit for you. So, hence why eclect eclectic wicker, especially in recent years, has really gotten some really big sort of clout behind it. And it is very, very popular, especially for people who feel like they don't fit into a specific type of wicker or witchcraft or paganism and they feel they can feel that it's a very it's a easy way to sort of if, to describe their path and their practice i know i do personally if someone was to ask me i would say i'm an eclectic fairy wiccan and i feel as well now that eclectic wicker has really sort of is such its own term now but i feel like you don't need it doesn't need any sort of further explaining anymore if i said to anyone that is of a witchy persuasion that i'm eclectic they would instantly be like right okay i i i get it i know what that is they don't they would i wouldn't need to go into depth and explain that i i don't know i have uh, some views um, that some of my path is very Wiccan or some of it's Native American spirituality I wouldn't need to go into depth and sort of explain exactly what each portion of my craft is to make up the eclectic whole as now it's sort of just a given that you have different beliefs and you practice different things and yeah so it's pretty awesome and um like I just said, it applies to eclectic wicca is the term that applies to different types of witchcraft traditions, like I've said, that don't fit into sort of one category. And there are multiple reasons why a witch may class them, classify themselves as an eclectic wiccan or eclectic pagan or eclectic witch, however you want to do it. Whatever you're, however you like to phrase your terminology. Uh, some of these reasons may be in a sort of mix and match aspect, which I probably say is what I am, is that I'm a witch that likes to sort of blend different beliefs and traditions and cultures to sort of um, make them into my own. So for my personal, my personal witchcraft uh, faith, I do lean heavily on uh, fairy wicca, but I also like to incorporate bits of... Um, my Native, Native American spirituality in my path. For those of you that don't know, I'm part Native American on my dad's side. I think it's my dad's grandmother. Yeah, my dad's grandmother was Cherokee Indian and I've always been drawn to, um, I've always been drawn to Native American spirituality like my whole life. I just find it so interesting. And so I do draw on that. I draw I draw on sort of traditional sort of like traditional uh wicker as well a little bit a bit sort of from different sort of feminist wiccan traditions um I just I draw on sort of quite a lot of different a lot of different practices that sort of make up my whole and what I love about eclectic wicker is that for me it's my own thing like I've made my path, my practice, my own. I've, like, it's just awesome to me to think that my, that I've managed to make my path unique to me. And that's, again, what I absolutely love about Wicca and paganism and is that I can, I can just make this my own. And I just draw on what feels good to me and what feels right for me. And I just blend it to my own practice and, that's just like totally awesome and totally acceptable and yeah so that's like me <laughs> um so that's one reason another reason is uh modified traditions so an individual and um, witch or a coven for example uh may be like an offshoot of a traditional tradition so say 
a coven, maybe an offshoot of Gardnerian Wicca, for example, but they've modified Gardnerian Wicca um, so that it's different, so it's different from the original form. So that's, that would be why they would classify themselves as an eclectic form of Gardnerian Wicca as they base their beliefs, their principles and their practices on it, but they have modified and changed it from what it actually is to fit their purposes. So that's another sort of, that's another sort of relatively common reason of why someone may classify themselves as eclectic, because they may have modified the tradition that they follow to sort of uh, make it their own. And another reason is that entire that may be a unique practice to the person entirely. They may have a completely uh, different brand of Wicca that is completely unique, and they've crafted it themselves. And their specific system of Wicca or paganism can't be categorized into anything that or be identified as anything that is already known so that would be why it'd be known as eclectic another one may another reason another common reason is they may be an uninitiated practitioner for uh those of you that don't know about tra or don't sort of know from a traditional wiccan perspective is that a uh, wicca and sort of like traditional sort of wicca like um gardnerian wicca for example has three only one four or five then <laughs> has three degrees of initiation so you have your first degree your second degree and your third degree and someone may be practicing as uninitiated they may be practicing that form of wicca from what they've gathered for, from public resources but they haven't been initiated into a coven so you would recognize them as eclectic for example uh, the church of universal eclectic wicca i didn't even know that was a thing properly until i started researching this um, they support they support eclectic wicca and they actually describe it themselves as a religious belief that allows the existence of truth in a multitude of places and they encourage explore, exploration and experimentation and it's not frowned upon so yeah that was um really awesome and for me i just feel like eclectic wicca is just I just feel like it's just right for me it's just natural it's just i just feel i didn't get to do my outro then as my memory card got full i was like oh damn it so i had to go through and delete the stuff that i no longer needed and that was just a pain in the ass but as i was saying is that i feel like a classic wicker it's just i feel like it's such a gift in the fact that it doesn't isolate people and make them feel bad about being different or not sort of not following or not feeling certain traditions and practices it's just it makes people unified as it celebrates and encourages differences which i think is absolutely awesome and i would love to know how you feel about eclectic how you or if you classify yourself as a collective wiccan pagan witch whatever and why i think i'd find it i'd find it really interesting because i love to know about people's beliefs what they believe and what they classify themselves and things like that i just find it really interesting and i just love the fact that the collective is such a broad like such like a broad and loose label that it's just it's an umbrella term in and of itself and i just think that's just so amazing and awesome and it's just crazy when you actually think about it that i i say i'm an eclectic wiccan and my friend can say she's an eclectic wiccan and it's so crazy and awesome to think about that we're both eclectic wiccans but our practices and our paths are like 110 percent different as 
I've created my path and she's created hers and it's just awesome to think that we just use the same ter loose term and our paths are completely different but we still feel like we have that solidarity and sisterhood as uh, we still use that sort of same label and I just think that's really awesome and really incredible. So I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next video in the ABC challenge which is going to be a letter F. And for those of you that have been watching my channel for a while and and or who know me, you know exactly what letter F is going to be. So yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you're looking forward to the next one. And I would love to see your comments and stuff down below. And if you like my content and you're not subscribed, I would love it if you subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you don't miss when new videos are up on my channel. And yeah, so I'll see you very soon in my next video. Blessed be. Mwah.